Hey, my name is Eric from DrinkPod, and I'm here to show you how to set up your 900 series. This will basically be a step-by-step -step walkthrough of showing you every step of setting up your cooler once your water line is already installed. So, we already have a water line here set up, ready to go, and we have a power line ready to go. Now, once you have these two set up, the first thing you need to do is remove this plastic piece which gets shipped with the unit. This works like a Chinese finger trap and in order to pull it out you need to hold this o-ring back while pulling the line out. If you don't hold the o-ring back it won't release. If you have a little trouble moving the tube out you may want to grip it with a plier and then it'll come out with more ease. The next thing we need to do is attach our water line into the o-ring itself. You can do this by pushing forward until you feel a resistance and then pull back to make sure that it's locked. Now we're going to take our power source and plug it directly into the drink pod. Once the unit is on, you're going to hear a beep, but it is very important that you keep these two power buttons off. These are the cold and hot tanks and they should not be turned on until you have water inside the drink pod. Alright, our next step is to turn on the valve. Take the valve, hold it in both hands and move it counterclockwise. You will hear a sound, which means water is rushing through the unit. Your 900 series drink pod comes with three modes. Hot, ambient or room temperature, and cold. It is very important to run water through all of these before turning on the two switches on the back. The first thing you do is run water through the room temperature mode. Water will start flowing directly as soon as you press the button. You also need to run water through the hot and cold tanks as well. Hold the cold water button down until water starts flowing out through the front. You may hear a sound and it may take anywhere from 30 seconds to a few minutes. Once water is flowing through the cold, you can stop. The last tank on this drink pod 900 is the hot tank. It comes with a safety feature meant to stop accidental burns. In order to disable the safety feature, you need to hold down the key that says hot for about 2 seconds and then push the hot. Keep holding the hot button down until water starts flowing. For the best possible taste right away, I recommend running a full gallon of water through each temperature mode. Once you have water running through all three features, the last step is to flip both the cold and the hot switches up. This will ensure that the unit is on, making hot and cold water. You can find more videos such as changing the filter, adjusting the temperature settings, and resetting your hot tank on our video support section. This is Eric for DrinkPod, signing off.